All right, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back. This is episode two. We're playing some more advanced warfare. Um, so we got these upgrades, which become really, 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 really useless throughout the whole campaign. They don't really do much since uh, you're constantly switching between tests and stuff, and it's just pointless. But there's one thing that is not useless, and it's this right here. The recoil and the resistance. That's really about it. That's the only thing that's useful in this uh, campaign. Or at least upgrades wise, but everything else is kind of pointless. Alright, next mission. Here After we go. a second day of heavy fighting, U.S. Marines were successfully able to drive North Korean forces out of Seoul. With an additional division arriving soon, hopes are high that we may finally see a return to peace and stability in the region. Why is one man spared while another taken? To this day, I couldn't give you an answer. But death comes for us all, eventually. When you lose over 6,000 men in four hours, it's easy for one death to become just another number. But all I knew was my best friend was gone, and a part of me wished I had been taken instead. The dead, when they've settled their deaths, it's up to the living to pick up the tab. Well, this is the so it is time to say farewell to friend. Private William Robert Irons, a man I had the privilege and honor to have under my command. A life is only important in proportion to its impact on the lives of others. By this standard, Private Irons ranks among one of our very best. He says best friend, dude. I just tend to cringe. He has to emphasize my best friend. <laughs> we get it, dude. He leaves oh. behind family. Friends. Fellow Marines. And a grateful nation. Prozex. Or F. Bastard, you killed my friend. Yeah, keep walking, fool. Sorry, Mitchell. Will was one of our best. Look, we take care of all. If you ever need any... Excuse me, Private Mitchell. I'm Jonathan Irons. I'm Will's father. <laughs> Mr. Irons, I'm sorry for your loss. I'm sure you are, Sergeant. <laughs> Private Mitchell, you were Will's best friend. You both paid too high a price for your country. It was an unfortunate tragedy, sir. It was more than unfortunate, Sergeant. It was unnecessary. Yeah, Son, you tell him, Irons. I want to offer you a second chance. Mr. Irons, Mitchell's been discharged with his injuries. I'm aware of his injuries, Sergeant. At Atlas, we have prosthetics that are 20 years beyond anything the military could offer you. Will told me what kind of soldier you were. You deserve to fight for a military that's as effective as you are. Think about it. Don't let Will's death be in vain. Sergeant. That's a pretty cool uh, business card. I, I really hope business cards look like that in the future. Okay. That'd be freaking awesome. Everyone knows what to do this time. Get into position. I'd like collect them at that point. I'm pretty sure many people start collecting business cards if they look like that. That'd be awesome. Marilyn Linlin. Two on the terrace. Check that three. On you, Mitchell. Drop them. Shut up, Marilyn. Toss a threat grenade. 
rescue force. Can you authenticate? Zulu Tango. Okay, please keep your head down and stay close. All right. Prophet, we have the package. Moving to extract. Copy, Atlas Zero One. Egress to the north access road. Copy that. Let's get him out of here. This way. We're detecting drones on the back patio. Let them pass. Sloppy, Mitchell. You a dead man. Reset! No excuse for equipment failure. Best weapon you have is the one between your ears. Use it. Resetting simulation. Everyone return to your starting position. It was his arm, sir. I knew it was too early. That arm's worth more to me than this entire facility. How's my boy doing? He's a work in progress. Well, keep working. This is a great soldier. It's a sad day indeed when the military has no use for good men like you. Tragic. Jump in. I'll give you the tour. Oh, yeah, look, guys. Manual transmission still exists. Wait for it. I'm trying to... There we go. Look at that. It's a stick shift. Oh, my goodness gracious. It's still alive in the year 20, 40 million or whatever. Look at that. That's quality right there. That's how you know they last forever. That's fucking awesome. Joker, we're bringing Mitchell over to R&D. Get the sim prep for another run. You got it, boss. What you're seeing here is advanced warfare. What you're seeing is advanced warfare. Atlas has the single largest standing military in the world, but we answer to no country. Unlike the government, we don't keep secrets of our capabilities. We don't sell policy, we sell power. power. We are a superpower for, for hire. hire. Power 
isn't just about the ability to destroy. Atlas has built infrastructures in places like Korea, Sierra Leone, Nigeria. We do in a few years what it takes governments decades to accomplish. In fact, the truth is, we're often more effective than the governments that hire us. As my son found out the hard way. It's gonna be really, really rare to like have people know how to drive a manual within like 40 years or 30 years from now. So the fact that there's a manual in this game, it goes to show how freaking rare it's gonna be in the future. Mitchell, I know you're not in this for the money. You remind me a lot of Will in that way. Now go get that arm fixed. Taking a shine to you. Don't let it go to your head. We've developed two types of exos assault and specialist. Each has a primary and secondary ability. Assault is equipped with. Is there. Did I put subtitles? I did not. I'm so sorry, folks. Boost jump, as well as sonics for crowd control. The specialist XO you're wearing has a built-in shield, in addition to overdrive capability. Technicians are waiting for you. Get that thing fixed up and meet me out here. Hello, Mitchell. Let's see what's going on with that arm. Please, step over here. Go ahead and place your arm on the table. Okay, just gonna run some diagnostics. Try and move your arm for me, please. Making a small adjustment. Hang on. Okay, again, please. I think I see the problem. I think. One more time, please. All right, you're good, but I recommend some trigger time to check the calibration. Let's head to the range. Ooh. He's got the assault exit. Looks like a lot of fun. Don't need to try. Still got first place. Huh. Your exo is equipped with overdrive. Use it if you need a tactical advantage. The overdrive battery burns up quick, so use it sparingly. Step up to the station when you're ready. Activating target training. Begin round one. Begin round two. Use 
in round three. Training complete. Your score was good. Not bad. Bullshit. Over to the grenade range. You need some hands on with the variable grenades. Boss, we got the sim ready to roll again. Copy. Mitchell and I will be there in a minute. some grenades and run the training course. Variable grenades let you switch your grenade type on the fly, depending on the threat. Activate the console. Toss a threat grenade. Hmm. No bueno. There we go. Toss a smart grenade and aim at a target to guide it. A smart grenade? So th that would be the threat, right? Flash. Oh, that was that one. My bad. Good. Run it again for a real challenge. Contact frag. All right. Activating grenade training. Damn it. Oh, so that's a smart EMP. No! Can I get out of here? Uh, this is all useless to me. So much bullshit. Here I use this. <laughs> I'll use this. Fuck it. Training complete. Your score was average. Average is right. Average? Let's move. We're gonna run the simulator again. Exil Mark III demonstration beginning in five minutes in the atrium. Sharp. Irons is going to be watching. I'm leading this thing. Kit up. I don't know why I chose the sniper, but here we go. Assault mode. Simulation starting in three, two, one. Execute. Okay, my lead, my way. Here they come! Take them down! Use overdrive!
The hell are you, dude? The hell? Clear. Move up. All right. Pick your entry point. We'll all be at the media room. Going through the living room. President, we're here to rescue you. Need your authentication code. I can't see shit. Confirmed. Stay behind us. Let's move. Atlas Zero One, be advised. We are detecting a large QRF approaching your position. Copy that, Prophet. Move! Use your EMP. Who was there? Who who rushed me? I'm not even in cover. Operator on our hands. He's getting there, sir. He's ready for some real work. Good job, son. Welcome to Atlas. That was a long ass mission, dude. We got some upgrades. Might as well do them right now, right? So, flinch 40%. That's fine. Upgrade that, whatever. And reload. Alright, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. As always, as always you guys take care. And, uh, yeah. Later. Peace.